Hey guys, this is Leo with Scott Leroy Marketing, and in today's tip video, I'm going to show you how you can mass email out of KW Command. Now, the first thing you'll want to do is, of course, log in to your KW Command account, and to get to uh, KW Command, that'll be agent.kw.com. Okay, you'll see that on the top of my screen here. Again, that's agent.kw.com. You'll go ahead and log in with your uh, same username and password as you use for mykw.kw.com and the Kelly app. So that will be the same password here to sign in right away. Now the main thing that you need to know about emailing, mass emailing from KW Command is you have to have a MailChimp account set up. So as of this given time, um, November 13th, 2019, you do have to have a MailChimp account hooked up to Command in order to mass email from Command. All right? They have talked about being able to use different service providers in the future, but for right now, you will need a MailChimp account. So in order to make sure your MailChimp account is hooked up with KW Command, let's go ahead and click on our name on the very top right. And then select settings from that dropdown. Okay, so once you click settings from the dropdown on the top right here, you'll see all your apps that are currently connected and can be connected to Command. Now your connected apps will be at the top of the list here. So you'll notice that it has disconnect account to the right of it that is already hooked up to command. So all connected apps will be at the top here. So if you do see MailChimp in this top section under connected apps, you're good to go. All right, you're ready to mass email from command. Right, if you see MailChimp, if you keep scrolling down and you see MailChimp near the bottom here, you'll want to go ahead and click Connect Account to the right of MailChimp to connect that up right away. All right, and if you do not have a MailChimp account set up quite yet, all right, you can go to MailChimp.com forward slash sign up. Okay, so again, that was MailChimp.com forward slash sign up and it's very easy to go ahead and create an account right from here. All right, and once you create that account, you'll have to verify your account and then you'll be able to hook that up with command right away. If you have any issues with that, of course, feel free to email us at support at scottleroymarketing.com. We'd be more than happy to assist you with that process. All right, so that is one thing that is definitely mandatory. You will need to have your MailChimp account hooked up to command. All right, and your contacts will also have to be in MailChimp as well. So to mass email, those will pull the contacts from MailChimp. So you can either import your contacts uh, from a CSV file into MailChimp, or if you don't already have a PySync account hooked up here, you can easily come in through PySync and connect up your MailChimp account there to sync your command contacts over to MailChimp. Okay, so there's some initial homework that has to be done in order to mass email from command. And if you have any issues on that, of course, let us know. We'd be happy to help. So now the first thing that you'll do is we'll go ahead and click on the campaigns option on the very left-hand side here. All right, so that campaigns option, it kind of looks like a megaphone with a little guy in a circle. Okay, and you'll notice if you hover your mouse over that icon, it will pop up letting you know it's a campaign section. Or if you click on the KW logo on the top left here, you'll see campaigns there as well. Now from this section, you will notice on the top toolbar here, we have a few options, including this email option. And that will show you currently any um, email campaigns that you have going out and any metrics at the top as well. I right, but to go ahead and create an email piece to send out, we'll click on create a new campaign on the very top right. So we're clicking create a new campaign on the very top right here. And you'll have quite a few options here and in this tip video we'll want to focus on the email option. So go ahead and click on that email option to specify you'd like to create an email campaign. All right, so we'll go ahead and click email. It will take us on over to configure the steps to set up this uh, email piece we're sending out. All right, you'll see on the top right our campaign goal. You can toggle that if you're trying to advertise a listing 
or attract listings or event awareness, okay? Um, whatever it may be here. So I'm going to say attract listings. And we can put a campaign name. So I'm going to say something like, thank you for coming to our open house. Okay. You can then make sure you have the account selected. And in this next drop down here in this to field, right, the recipient list, you'll need to make sure you select from that drop down. Okay, so if you are not seeing a list here, this is pulling from MailChimp specifically. Okay, so this is where your contacts would have to be in MailChimp in order to be able to send to. So you'll need to make sure that is done first in order to select a recipient list. From what we have seen, clicking add list on the top right here is not working quite yet, so you cannot create lists in command for this section specifically. All right, but you can pull the recipient list from MailChimp. All right, and you'll see right here, this next section here, the from section, you'll see your sender, so how you want your name to display in their inbox. And when they reply to the email, this is where it will go back to. So you wanna make sure that's your business email address. We all have the subject line here. So we can go ahead and put in, I like to go ahead and put in the same thing as I have for the campaign name, totally up to you. Okay, this is what will be in the subject line. So thank you for coming to our open house. For example, if you'd like to reach out to everyone who came to your open house. And then the content here. So this is where we'll need to click Apply Design on the very bottom. So it will start looking through your saved designs that you have created. So there's not currently any templates available to email out. Again, this video is on November 13th, 2019. So we're hoping that very soon there will be more additional templates to make it easier to select these email pieces to send out right away. But for right now, you can go ahead and click Create New Template on the very top right. Okay, or of course, you can select one of these if you had previously created that in designs. But we'll go ahead and click Create New Template on the top right here, which will take you on over to your designs. Okay, those are your designs right here. We can click the plus sign on the bottom right here and select the email option. So again, we click the plus sign on the bottom right and then select email and create design. Okay, so that will take you on over to a blank page where you can go ahead and name that on the top left. So let's say I wanna name this open house, thank you, notes. Okay, whatever you'd like to name it on the top left there. You'll see on the top right, you can go ahead and associate a listing or a landing page to this piece if you would like to. And further down on the right, you have a different layout and content blocks that you can drag on over to your blank piece here. So what you could do, for example, is come on over to the right-hand side and select what you'd like to add in. Um, so we have some section pieces here. You can divide up the page, add in a grid or list. We have buttons, dividers, text options, text section, images, links, and so forth. So if I want to go ahead and add some text to the top here, so let's say I want to say, thank you for coming to our open house. I can then, and wonderful thing, you'll see that it says it auto-saved. I can come on back to the right-hand side and I can go ahead, let's say, and drag this image. Sorry, I wasn't all the way down there. Let me show you that one more time here. So on the right hand side, you'll see this image icon, which you can click. So adding anything on the right hand side and dragging it over to the blank page and release your mouse that will drop it. So I can go ahead and let's say, click right here to upload from my computer. So I should have something on my desktop I can throw in here. All right, so we have that piece in here. So I clicked on that to add it in. Okay, very large image here. Okay, so I can resize that right away as well. 
And I'm just resizing that by clicking on the squares on the left or on each corner or on the bottom here to resize that right away. So let's say we have a picture of the home we had an open house for. Say I want another text to go ahead and uh, say something like, please let us know if you need any additional information on the home or if we can help you find your next dream home. Okay, you can add your contact information and so forth. Okay, so let's say we go ahead and click update template. We'll fast forward this a little bit. So we'll click update template on the very top right. All right, it shows you that your template was updated. All right, so I can then click back on the top left to get back to all of my designs. Now just a heads up, when we do create the second design, it does open that in a separate tab here. So this is where we were creating our campaign. All right, and this might not pop up right away. All right, so if you need to click back to create it on the top left and then come back to choose a design, that should pop up your new design right away. So I can go ahead and click on that option. I can click apply design on the top right. And then I can see that my email piece is ready here. I can save it as a draft on the top. I can preview that. And then I can send that off right away on the top right. All right, and so that is how you can send a mass email from KW Command right away. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to let us know. Thanks, have a great one, guys.